making a video of some of the common grape diseases so that people can get a better look at what they look like if they've never encountered them before. There's not a whole bunch on the web about it and almost nothing in video. So let's have a look. There's some right there. This is earlier downy mildew. They start getting uh, a brown around the spots. These are called oil spots. And they have sporulated. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But this the downy stuff on the bottom, that comes after some warm, humid nights. Er, well, actually, early in the disease, there is nothing on the bottom. It's just the, the yellow on the top. And then some warm, humid nights, and they, they spore out, and that's what they look like. Yeah, there's some that has the brown around it and the spots underneath. There's more like that. This vineyard became susceptible to this a lot of disease early in the year because the vines were really weakened by a bad case of Phomopsis, which was brought on by this. We had a really weird spring around here and I couldn't get in the vineyard and do any of the normal early sprays because of the weather. Yeah, this is pretty much all over the place. These are very obvious. I'm trying to find some that haven't spored out. I did have some powdery mildew as well but that might have been on, I have some seedless grapes up, up top. We'll go look at those as well. Ah, here, here we go. That's powdery mildew right there and right there. So we have downy and powdery mildew. When a leaf is all wrinkled like that, it, uh, this is the early stages. Oh, that, that might even be Phomopsis, got the little dark spots. Yeah, I believe that is Phomopsis making a comeback. Yep, sure is. So, the vines are having a hard time this year. This might be early downy. Yes, it is. It, you could see the yellow. Okay, I have a little bit of zoom now. But I'm not quite sure how well you can see that. There's just a yellowing around here, and the way to test if that is downy mildew or not is to take the leaf off, put it in a, a baggie with a damp piece of cloth or something, or toweling, and leave it overnight in a dark place. And if it is downy mildew, it'll get the spores on the underside like that. So that's mostly downy mildew that we're seeing. These are just smaller 
and I believe that is downy mildew as well. Now, downy mildew is not going to kill the vine, but it will weaken it because the vine has to fight off the disease. They dehydrate the vine. I'll get in here and spray this. tomorrow morning, but the majority of the sprays, all they can do is control the spread of the disease. They cannot stop it. Yeah, it's, it's much worse down in the lower parts of this vineyard. This vineyard is on a hill. And as you get further down, the disease load gets worse. And there is some powdery mildew. Neither one are that bad, but they do need to be taken care of. To prevent the summer rots, the best option is to keep the vines fairly clear, don't let them get overgrown, and keep the, the bottom open so air can flow out of the vineyard. That's all been done here, but it's just been so humid, near 100% humidity and very warm at night, so there's not a lot that can be done about it. If they're already susceptible, as these are, they're going to get it. These have been on a normal spray pattern, or a good spray pattern, all summer, or a spray schedule, I should say, yet they still got it, because they, they started out with disease right off the bat this year, because of the phalopsis. So tomorrow morning, it's already too late in the day to spray today. So I will spray as soon as the vines dry off in the morning. I'm quite sure they'll be wet in the morning because it's been very humid at night. So there you have it. Mostly downy mildew. And I don't know if you you probably can't notice it, but as, as I get about halfway up the row, it greatly diminishes. It's by far worse down, down lower, down towards the end down there. This vineyard was not supposed to be cropped this year, so I really need to get in here and take out these remnants of fruit that escaped being pruned off earlier. That'll give the vines a bit more strength. Other than that, a spray of fungicide will keep this at bay. It'll keep it from spreading. It's not going to get rid of it. So there you have it. That is an up close and personal view of downy mildew mostly and some powdery mildew as can be seen here. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and click on the little update icon if you want to receive updates when we upload new videos. Have yourself a great day.